Hey guys, it's your boy Lucy here, and we are here today on the digital strategy series, or what we call digital context. Today we're gonna dive into what we know as Google Market Finder. Google Market Finder actually helps you see markets, external markets, other than the country that you operate in, that search for your product or your service that you're offering. So it's called Market Finder by Google. It's free. You know we love free. All right so when you click that link it takes you to this page it's a simple three-step process basically uh, takes you less than two minutes you could do it in between meals you could do it on the go from your mobile phone and everything so it takes us to look for new markets free tools to identify new potential markets and this help with your digital strategy as you would like to do probably social media or ad campaigns we all know the new normal is to push digital assets or products or services to new markets as globalization becomes more and more a household name. So we try and shop courts today. For those of us who know Unilever courts, and we know courts offers household appliances, among other things, TVs, washing machines, dryers. So put in the URL click to understand a greedy privacy policy and then we hit continue so this takes about 30 seconds to pull the categories from your website sometimes it does not pull accurate categories so you will have to take off those categories and manually add in categories so we could look at home and garden here we know courts would offer home storage home appliances home furniture um, they have televisions so you could type in here and you could see all the other options and we click confirm when you click confirm it Google then recommends you the top three markets based on Google searches over the past month what that does what that now does is says you have additional information here on the screen monthly searches across the categories that we search 56 million in the u.s google ad recommended bid that varies based on the market that we're in medium this one should be high right and it should be medium again for the uk for here google gives you an average of net disposable income based on household trends and data that they accumulated over a period of time and the ease of doing business index rank means how difficult it is to procure items and services in this industry based on feedback all right and you see that varies across the different indexes also across different levels of income so here if you look at the map you see the darker blue would be the more accurate or your top categories the lighter blues would fall out of your top three canada in a top 10 Argentina in 40 so it doesn't mean that the top three markets are ideally the best for you you yourself have to know if you could distribute your product there if you can get paid from there and more importantly if you could deliver the same customer experience as you would have done in store as you come down here you just complete your profile and you Google saves your information over a period of time and there you have it remember digital strategy works in the background social media is just your channel so communicating that to your ideal client it's your boy oc phillips and tune in for our next episode or our next video of what we call the digital series or the digital context still trying to find a name hope this helps you like share and leave your feedback in the back in the comments